So this is uh, the main pump room in this estate project that uh, we built. And we've been doing a little uh, updating and repairing things and just getting service done. And uh, I thought, you know, this pump room has got a lot going on and I thought it'd be fun to record it for myself uh, so I can remember all the work this was. Again, it was from about 11, almost 12 years ago. Um, but uh, there's a lot going on in here and I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over exactly what it is. So again, it's the pump room. So to start with, the main thing is we have a well, which is about that direction, which is south, about 500 feet away and about almost 100 feet deep. It's a well that produces about 46 gallons a minute of some beautiful water. It comes up out of, out of the ground or through the slab right here and it comes up and there is a pressure tank, an air tank there and then it comes down. You can see we can shut it off from the well and then it goes through a sand filter which then drains to the outside. So you can push this button and flush the sand filter. And then we come in from the sand filter and this is the main line in and here we have a shutoff that's off, it blocks it and it forces the water to go up this direction and into a filter system and then this is a big sand, a big uh, tank that holds salt so that's how it's filtered and then it goes back out and across and back in to the main line so we can bypass the filtration if we have a problem by turning these two levers off and opening this one up and then it goes on through and out of the building and then fills two 1,000 gallon tanks that are tied together and then comes back in that line there so out and in or right together and then into these two pumps both of these pumps work together to pressurize the water for the entire site the all the potable water we've got two check valves to keep any uh, backflow from going in and then back there's a pressure tank there for this system and then the water comes along into this main line and from here it goes to the main house it also goes to the pool house that's down where my where I've kept the smart wood shop and uh, have filmed for the last uh, seven years and then it also feeds the guest house so that is all the domestic water and how it works and again with two 1000 gallon tanks we have a lot of backup and it's treated water we can, if necessary, we can bypass going through the tanks by shutting this one off and opening this valve. And that will allow the pump, the uh, well pump, to feed these. And of course, there's another valve on this end. We'd shut that one off. And then the water would go directly from the well and feed the um you know again the main house the pool house and the guest house and the pressure would be coming then from the well pump itself pretty typical uh, for houses not to have storage tanks and that be the main so we've got a lot of ways to work around and keep the system up and running additionally we feed the pond so we have this uh, large trout pond that we built and uh, that pond uh, needs to be refilled for a number of reasons and so we have uh, the well pump then while it's uh, uh, keeping the tanks full can also simultaneously fill the pond and that goes in and it's got a check valve and of course with the shutoffs and that goes down into the ground there and goes out and we've got a skimmer box and it feeds the pond and keeps it topped off now, the reason it needs to be topped off, you've obviously got uh, to think about evaporation. And also, we have this other pump here 
that is your irrigation pump. So we actually draw the water out of the pond and into this irrigation pump that then goes out these lots and irrigates the entire property. And the owner wanted that because he liked the idea of the organics from the pond, the fish in it and things in the, and it's a pretty natural looking pond and it's really large. And so having the organics go to uh, be kind of a natural fertilizer for the lawns and flower beds and all of that. And then this is the uh, irrigation control system. There are many, many zones. Uh, obviously we have to, it takes about uh, eight hours uh, for the irrigation to run through its full cycle because there's so many zones. And the system is set up with a remote control. So the um, irrigation crew that maintains it uh, they come once a year, of course, to uh, shut the system down and blow it out. And then they also come back and restart it uh, at the appropriate time. And they have a remote control, wireless remote, that they can go around the site and turn on the heads, make sure the heads are working and get the timing right and all of that kind of stuff. Additionally, uh, over here is these are the rhombus controllers for those pumps that provide the pressure for the domestic water. And what these do is that, you know, you can see you've got a light on here and there's a horn and we have in the tank, one of the tanks, and the tanks are tied together. So we have a triple float system and the top float, when it's fully up, will shut the system off. And then when it drops down, um, it goes into another mode and then there's a, uh, which then will will um, raise back, you know, t tell the system to come on and then refill the tanks. But then there's a second uh, portion of the float that will then give us uh, some signal that, hey, uh, it's gotten below where we want, might be a problem. And then there's a third level, which is dangerously low level. The lights come on, the flash, the horn goes off and that has happened. So. Uh, we had this sub drive, this drives the well pump, and we had this controller go bad. And then another time the pump itself actually died, so we had to change that. So the, the, the pump and the pump controller have been changed out. And then we have four more pumps. So in this pond that we built, we have two waterfalls. We have an east waterfall and a uh, west waterfall. The west waterfall, they're both very large. These are big pumps and pump a lot of water and we have them set up on a uh, program that will run um, one pump for each fall for 14 hours a day and then switch to the other for 14 hours a day and that's 28 hours of course so we have two hours of overlap at uh, in the evening. Uh, from five to seven, and that's because the falls really uh, get you know loud and lots of water rushing over them, and are pretty impressive. And it's at the time of day when they're home and maybe dinner, and and also if they're having guests over, it's the time that guests would arrive, and so it would be uh, you know the kind of the coolest looking time. And we like to have the water rushing that extra push because uh, it helps keeps the the weeds down in. Uh, one of the falls actually fills a big pond up above and then there's a big stream that it fills and it runs down the stream and then into the pond. And then the east fall is just a big direct fall that falls right into the main pond. So these again um, uh, will pull the water out of the pond and then cycle it back through. And this is all controlled with this Aqualink and I had put it into service mode just now to turn off the pumps because of the noise. But in the auto mode, there's a remote uh, control in the main house that we can set the programming and turn things off manually. It runs a lot of other things as well, but it does run to this Aqualink box. And that is those pumps kicking on. That means somebody's using water. They, uh, whenever water comes on, these pumps have to come on to keep the pressure pretty much right away. There's no uh, pressure kind of standing there, you know, water pressure has, you know, we have to have a pump running. So somebody's turned on something in one of the buildings and uh, using a sink or something right now. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this uh, pretty uh, elaborate pump room. 
And this is not the only uh, building or room on the site that handles utilities. We have a geothermal field that handles both the in-floor heat in the main house and down in the pool building, but it also, uh, we have a air to water heat exchanger to air condition the house as well. So it's a pretty neat thing. The field is really big. We put the geothermal loops in and we call it the soccer field because it's about the size of a soccer field. And so in that room, we have three uh, ground source heat pumps that are fed from the geothermal. We also have a massive wa hot water tank, which basically gets its free hot water off of, uh, as a byproduct off of those uh, ground source heat pumps. And it's massive and it, it doesn't have a heater in it. it again, it, it's, a, it's a byproduct of the in-floor heat. And it's like a massive thermos. And then we have an additional couple of electric hot water tanks in line that will take that already hot water and if we need it we can turn those on for a boost but again they're only going to be bringing it up from the temperature that it is so and it's hot enough uh anyway but it's just kind of back up i'll uh, hopefully get to make to make a short video and show you that room as well and then we have uh another room that i hopefully or it's a separate little garage it's about the size of a small one car garage with a massive a cat generator in it and auto transfer switch and so we brought we brought in 600 amps of power to the site and that generator will run the whole site if power is down and it's got an auto transfer so there's no need to go out and turn it on so I'll, I'll try to get over and show you that and then there's another one as well and that's down in the pool building and that's where all the pool pumps are and we have a a jacuzzi that's up behind the main house but it's a the heater for it is a big gas heater which is down in the pool um, buildings uh, pump room and so when they turn that on uh, they get hot water instantly and it, it pumps it all the way up the hill and, and into the jacuzzi and, and back out so kind of a neat deal it's not just a, one of those jacuzzis where the motors and things are just built right into it so uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, give you a quick tour of those as well it was all part of the, you know, this you know massive uh, estate project uh, that we built for the owners, and you know we love it because uh, it gave us a lot of work, and uh, I was able to bring in a lot of uh, my own employees as well as a lot of subcontractors. It gave us all us working stiffs a work for a long time, and we greatly appreciated it. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, but most important, share the channel with others. Thanks for dropping by. Have a great day.